Welcome back investors to Ticker Time News. I'm Adam and today we're talking about a really important question. Should you take the cash reward or reinvest your dividend? As an investor, you will at some point come across this question while owning dividend paying stock. Should you withdraw your cash or reinvest that dividend back into purchasing more shares and start compounding your return? The quick answer is yes. Reinvesting your dividend will help to grow your investment at a faster rate than taking the cash. By taking the cash, you're not letting your money work for you. There is an exception though, and that could be that you're already in retirement and taking the dividend payment is part of your financial plan. Dividend Reinvestment Plan or DRIP, D-R-I-P. Consider this metaphor to help you better understand DRIP. When you have a leaking faucet with a bucket underneath to catch the water, each drop of water doesn't look like much at first. But when you return, that little drop has filled your bucket with water. That's the idea behind dividend reinvesting. But that leaves out the compounding effect. When you reinvest your dividend, you supercharge your long-term returns because of the power of compounding. Your dividends buy more shares, which increases your dividend the next time, which lets you buy even more shares and so on. That is the compounding effect. Additional dividend reinvestment benefits. There are still a few more positive things to talk about. If you've invested in a solid company, then there's a good chance that over time, say five years, maybe 10 years, that the stock price has increased, making your shares more valuable. This is where dollar cost averaging helps to keep your cost basis down as the company's share price increases over time. The company you invested in could also increase its dividend payout. There's actually a group of companies called the Dividend Aristocrats, which are a group of elite dividend stocks that have reliably increased their annual payouts every year for at least a quarter of a century. Dividend aristocrat Sherwin-Williams, ticker symbol SHW. Sherwin-Williams is one of the largest paints, coatings, and home improvement companies in the world. Sherwin-Williams has hiked its dividend payout every year since 1979, the year I was born, of course, including a nearly 19% jump in February 2020. And it pays out mere 27% of its earnings as dividends. Analysts say Sherwin-Williams will grow at an average annual rate of more than 10% for the next five years. Should you take the cash or reinvest it? The correct answer relies upon your monetary circumstance, short-term and long-term objectives, your character and your requirement for reserves. Reinvesting your dividends to support your retirement could bode well as well. Then again, on the off chance that you need some additional income to
to enhance your work or in the event that you need to appreciate more encounters while you are youthful or for your family while your kids are youthful. You could be in an ideal situation utilizing the dividend investments all through your lifetime. The correct decision for you it relies upon your degree of risk tolerance. So what do you think about dividend stocks or dividend aristocrat stocks? Do you invest in dividend stocks? If so, leave a comment down below letting us know. What are your favorite dividend stocks? I hope you found value in this video. And I want to thank you so much for watching. Also, if you could, smash that like button, click subscribe, and join our family of investors. Because these videos are ultimately for you. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. You can help out the channel and earn free money while doing it. First, earn $10 worth of Bitcoin by signing up for a BlockFi interest account and depositing $100. Plus, the added benefit to using BlockFi is that you will earn interest of up to 8.6% annually on your cryptocurrency. Second, earn two free stocks worth up to $1,850 by signing up to Webull and depositing $100. Click the links below to get started.